Safer Together. This is a report that takes a critical look at Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, and it concludes that many African Americans in Jacksonville do not trust police and suggests a review board made up of citizens could help. News for Jacks reporter Eric Avignon is live outside City Hall to explain the difference in review boards being suggested and why, Eric, some of those who attended tonight's meeting, they sound still upset over this debate. Yes, one city council member is recommending a policy review board, which takes a look at police policies to determine which policy should stay and which should go when it comes to the use of excessive force and other issues. Now, the other city council member is trying to decide if whether or not a policy review board is more appropriate than a citizen's review board, which takes part in the actual investigation into officers accused of excessive force. Both city council members believe that either board should be occupied by citizens. During tonight's public meeting between City Council Member Michael Boylan and Joyce Morgan, both counselors offered recommendations about what type of review board should be in place as it pertains to the Jacksonville Police Force. Councilman Boylan favors a policy review board because he sees it as a proactive attempt to affect change within JSO. You know, we talk about ongoing training. We talk about the increased number of co-responders, you know, to be proactive in that regard. I think, you know, some, an opportunity to take a look at the budget to suit too, to make sure that we can re properly reallocate the funds to do the kind of work that we're presently not doing. Councilwoman Morgan wants to research the idea of policy review boards versus the idea of citizens review boards to see which kind of board is more appropriate for Jacksonville. She's making her decision based on review boards already in place in other cities in Florida where the topic of police excessive force has been an issue. I like the fact that Orlando is doing it. I like the fact that uh, St. Pete is already doing this. Why is it taking so long for Jacksonville to jump on board? That's our problem. That's what we're looking at. And that's why we really want to do something because we feel like Jacksonville is the bold city of the South. That's what we keep saying. So let's be bold and do what we need to do for our constituents. Several of the people who spoke during the public comment section of the meeting are in strong favor of the Citizen Review Board and were upset over the council members scheduling more meetings to discuss which route to take on the review board. Y'all the colossal failure on, on ev not everything. Let me clear that up. Not on everything, but on this subject, you're a failure. In the meantime, the Fraternal Order of Police say they support the idea of a policy review board, but can't get behind a citizen review board. These committees, these review boards um, operate off emotions. They operate off political agendas um, and uh, they are all uh, attack of our members. Now, two more meetings have been scheduled to determine which review board is more appropriate for Jacksonville. Those meetings have been scheduled for October and December. Reporting live from outside City Hall, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.